Let's take a look at this problem. We got negative 4x over 5 plus 1 equals 4 over 15. And we'll go through our four steps. First step is to get rid of parentheses. Don't have any. Second step is to get rid of fractions. And how we do that is we multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. So let's find the LCM of 5 and 15. First off, let's talk about our primes. Our primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. There's actually an infinite number of primes, but the, uh, probably 95% of the problems revolve around these five numbers here. Now, the first step in finding the LCM is we want to write the prime factorization of each number down. Now, 5 is 5, so don't have anything there. Uh, 15 is 3 times 5. The only numbers you can have on the right side are your primes. Then for our LCM, we start with our first prime. We're looking to the right side of the equals. We start with the 3. We're looking for the greatest number of 3's on any single line. There's none here, there's 1 here, so the greatest number of 3's on any single line is 1. And then we go to our next prime, which is 5. We're looking for the greatest number of 5's on any single line. There's 1 here, there's 1 here, so the greatest number of 5's on any single line is 1. So our LCM will be 15. And we multiply everything by it. So we're going to take 15 and multiply it times this first fraction, times the negative 4x over 5. We'll take 15 and multiply it times the 1. And we'll take 15 and multiply it times the fraction on the right side. When I say multiply by everything, I'm talking about what's separated by pluses, minuses, and equals. So here's a plus. That's why I multiply it times this fraction, times this number, and times this fraction. And also equals. Okay. 5 and 15 are both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 15 and 15 both divisible by 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 15 divided by 15 is 1. If all of your denominators have disappeared at this point, that means it worked. You multiply by the right LCM, or at least a common multiple. Well, 3 times negative 4 gives us negative 12x, plus 15 times 1 is 15, equals 1 times 4 is 4. Step 3. Get everything with an x, all the terms, with an x on one side, numbers on the other. So I'll take 15 and move it over. <clears throat> now when you move anything across for equals, your sign changes. So the positive 15 becomes a negative 15. Now our note up at the top says any step combined to go like terms, combined to go the numbers. 4 minus 15 is negative 11. And step 4. Divide both sides by a number in front of your x. A number in front of your x is a negative 12, so I divide both sides by negative 12. Those negative 12s cancel, and negative divided by negative is positive, so our answer is 11 twelfths. Assuming they make a basic math error somewhere. Uh, let me just double check real quick. 15, and 4, take that over there. Uh, looks a little right. Okay. Now, um,. Where you can find uh, more videos like this. MathHeals.com And if you go to Math Lectures, Intermediate Algebra Review, um, then you uh, down here, I think this is section 2.1, 2.3, uh, if you watch this YouTube video, then you can see those four steps I just referred to.